I've just stopped in, stopped in the park for a break. Just dumped all my kit on my bench. I'm gonna head over that way now. One night solo hammock camp. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon and I can still see the moon. So this river crossing I've been using over the summer, it's, uh, it cuts three miles off my actual walk to the woodland where I normally camp. So for a three mile shortcut, it's totally worth checking out and I'm sure you can't blame us for that. But uh, last week it's quite flooded, had to wait a whole night for it to go down. But today I feel lucky. <laughs> So we're going to see, you see you walk a mile to it, so if it's flooded and you can't cross it, you've got a choice either to camp on the bank or walk the mile back and do the three mile, do the full four, five, six miles right around. So I think it's a low today, a lot lower, because we haven't had rain pretty much since yesterday, so hopefully it'll be lower and I can cross it like a piece of piss and get up to my woodland and uh, get some dinner because I am actually really hungry. It would have been a two-nighter but last night I finished work at like 10 and I was just too knackered. I just wanted my own bed so I just chilled at home last night and thought I'd come out today after having a good old rest. Glad I did because I actually feel like I've had a good rest if you know what I mean. Well, I did it. It went to my camo pocket. So not bad. Really forceful current that. Put my stuff there. I'm uh, needing to dry my boots now. Just in case anyone asked, the uh, boots that I said got washed away weren't obviously the boots I was wearing. It was the boots I left there in order for the river crossing. So yeah, they gone. We're gone. Well, to camp I think. This dry riverbed is possible, but you can see where it's been flooded. Last week this was just like a stream. It's starting to dry out again now like. Could rain. I had to get out that dry riverbed because there was just a drop in it and it's just filled up from one side. Brilliant. And I'm here. This is my main winter camp. Completely untouched apart from the wind. Pulled out that corner of shelter. The uh, poles fall down on the tarp, but again, that's wind. We're good. Pretty much exactly how we left it. But I'm not staying here tonight. Just want to check on it. I just finished digging my uh, fire pit. Loads of wood around here. Yeah, I'm gonna light the fire and get a brew on the go, and then decide where to put my hammock.
just found a lot of uh, really small dry pine bits so I'm just going to use them as my excellent today my lighter Just got these off these uh, uh, these end bits here. So dry, and obviously really sheltered because of the canopy. Another good thing about using uh, not using fire lighters is I can pretty much put a pot of water on there straight away. I don't have to burn the fire lighters out first because I don't like the way they taste. Same with hexi blocks and that. I think they taste like shit in your water. And that's just pine leaves, little pine, little pine bits. That is a raging fire and that was so rapid too. Oh, and it's blown that way. So I'm obviously gonna put my hammock over here somewhere. <laughs> I've got the brew on. I don't need to wait for the fuel to burn off. That is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I love Tinder. <laughs> I just love it. It's a little bit marshy over there. So that's why I put my fire in here. But as you can see, man, the amount of wood and debris that's fallen out of these trees over the years is quite a lot and I've noticed also just a couple of bits that are loose up above us but I'm not worried they're not big enough to do me damage big enough to hurt but not to do damage <laughs> oh. Free time. That was like from building the fire to getting the brew, like literally, you're talking nine minutes. That was brilliant. Yeah, it's a well deserved brew after my river crossing and my fire starting. See? Oh yeah.
I just wish you could feel how soft this sleeping bag is. I've just had it washed and all cleaned and that and put new cordage in the hood. But it is, it is awesomely soft. I sleep like a baby in there. Everything's been pretty much cleaned. <clears throat> Got my storm rings in again, just in case of the rain. Cows are uh, mooing quite loudly. I think it's time for some burgers or something, because I'm starving. I'm having some uh, nice beef burgers. 100% British beef. Oh yeah. And I've got another pan of water on for some coffee. And I've got some uh, mushroom and bacon carbonara on the go too. My burgers are done. Just waiting for this bad boy to finish cooking a bit more. Got my rolls sorted for my burgers. I'm all seat. Sweet ass. There we go. This is my setup all tidied away and nice and ready to go to bed. Obviously not yet. I've still got to have tea before long. I've got some nice steaks. An apple crumble I brought along an oven. You can see right there. Well it's a pan but it's used as an oven. I've just hiding my boots there. Dry out. I've got my uh, Gore-Tex socks on, Gore-Tex boot liners. Took my wet pants off too there, and then over there. Put my Gore-Tex trousers on. I'm going to go a walk to my other camp and see if I can salvage a chair. Yeah. Just to make the night a little bit more comfier. <laughs> Bingo. Shelter's looking a little bit shabby now, like. Needs more work. Everything's uh, been battered by the wind. Down by the uh, edge of the fence, just bringing in logs. Just uh, chilling nicely. I'm gonna break all these logs up in a minute and, and sort some of that firewood over there too. Loads of it. I love places that are plentiful of firewood. My log pile. There is logs everywhere. I was like walking through there and I've literally just pushed by hand two dead standing trees down. So there they are. There. I just broke them up and brought them into camp and I'm going to burn them. Just like that one. I have another little pile over there. I'm gonna make that like go to there just to give us some protection for firewood. Like firewood walls. It's not that nippy, it's quite nice. Just chilling out. I'm 